Hello and welcome to Marxism Today. My name is Red Wagner and I'll be your host. Today's episode is on unemployment. A side note, uh, today's episode is the first episode of our second season, so welcome to our second season. Uh, if you saw the blog post, you already know a little bit about this, but I want to mention that our first season was mostly a theme of co- what could be called Marxist classics, things like uh, looking at the dialectic, looking at philosophical materialism, looking at the uh, traditional explanation of exploitation. The second season, while I don't know exactly what direction we'll end up taking, we're going to start out moving more in the direction of modern day Marxism. So what can Marxism tell us about our modern modern world? looking at uh, modern topics and what 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 would we as Marxists have to say about them. And with that, I'd like to say our topic for today is unemployment. Today in the U.S., our official unemployment rate remains at nearly 10%. If you add in discouraged workers and those who are working part-time but looking for full-time work, uh, you're pretty close to about 16%. Unemployment is a problem in capitalist society, but when the numbers are as high as they are today, the problem cannot be ignored. We are taught to believe in uh, we are taught to believe that a certain amount of unemployment is natural, normal, or even desirable. For example, in my high school economics course, uh, I recall the teacher telling us that three percent is the ideal amount of unemployment, but As Marxists, we should ask, why not lower? Why shouldn't we have 0% unemployment? Is it so crazy to think that anyone who says he wants to work should be able to? Of course not. But this would require a rational economic system. And as we'll be talking about today, and as you may know, capitalism is not a rational economic system. Capitalism cannot afford to provide full employment. Just imagine a capitalist world where every worker had a job. If you were a capitalist and one of your workers threatened to quit if he didn't get a raise, you'd really have to think long and hard about it. There would be no unemployed workers to take his position, and you'd just have to do without that worker. Now, in the same situation, if there is a 3% unemployment rate, then there should be some workers out there who should be able to probably take this job. Uh, So you wouldn't have to give him a raise and you can just hire one of those. And in a world where you have 16% unemployment, then there's a large number of people who would be very happy to take his job. Um, And in fact, it you'd probably be able to cut wages of your workers if you have that high of an unemployment rate. And if anyone happened to complain, you could just point out that there are a lot of people out there that'd be very happy to take this job and not complain at all, even if there was um, some wage cuts. In this way, unemployment is great for capitalists. It gives them power over the workers. Also, capitalism is the only mode of production that really needs unemployment in this way. If we go through, we can see tribal societies. There's no reason to stop a member of your society from gathering food, since that would only produce more food for the tribe. A slave owner would never stop a willing slave from working, since it would only increase his wealth. A feudal lord would never stop a serf from farming the land since part of that output goes to the lord and it will only increase his riches. Only in capitalism are there throngs of working classes who sit idle, wishing for work. This is a massive waste of human potential, but it is a waste that capitalism requires so that it can continue to run. I'd also like to say that unemployment is more than just a waste of human potential. For the unemployed, it's a truly wretched situation. Like many Americans, I've experienced unemployment, and it's not a happy time. You know this if you've ever been unemployed. 
The simplest and most surface level problems are being a reduction of the standard of living. You, you don't have the income that you used to, and so you have to scrimp and save more than before. This isn't to say that saving is a bad thing, but that each person deserves a decent living with decent food and certain comforts. Families shouldn't have to shiver in the cold of winter or do without fresh, healthy foods, for example. Another effect of unemployment is the loss of health care. Most of us here in the U.S. get our health care from our jobs. So uh, suddenly you find yourself without a job and more vulnerable to disease, and you have no coverage for your health expenses. You don't have a job, so now you must pay more for health care, which, again, is completely irrational. Finally, unemployment also takes an emotional toll. It puts you in a situation where you must go from employer to employer seeking just the chance to work for someone else. It is a feeling of being thrown out and told you are not wanted anymore. No matter how alienating and exploiting our jobs may be, they, provi they provide an anchor for us. A financial anchor, but also a psychological anchor. And when it is uprooted, in many ways we are lost. So what's the answer? The answer is that in whatever post-capitalist society we are working towards, we must create a rational attitude towards work. People should be allowed to work if they want to. Every week that a worker sits unemployed is a week's worth of human labor that could raise our standard of living. We could educate a child, compose a symphony, fix a car, plant trees, or any other number of useful tasks. Today, we have massive social need like the ones I've mentioned here, and massive unemployment side by side. Things that need to get done and people willing to do work. But because of the irrationality of capitalism, we can't seem to work these two things out. I think it's about time that we start trying to do better than capitalism. I'm Red Wagner, and this has been Unemployment. Thanks for listening. This episode is part of the Marxism Today podcast series. Marxism Today is recorded, mixed, edited, produced, and maintained by Red Wagner. It is distributed freely and licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 3.0 license. To find out more about the Marxism Today podcast, visit our website at marxismtodaypodcast.wordpress.com, where you can find archives of all of our episodes available for download. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.